All right, collections. Collections is a way for us to organize products inside of our Shopify store. So heading over to if we have a look on the left-hand side, the place, let's get rid of that out of there. The place we want to be looking is under products, um, and then we wanna go under collections. Um, so now let's look at the overall view again. Uh, we've got a clear call to action at the top, which is for creating a collection, and then we have our list of collections down below. Again, looking very similar, we have our views where we can save our view. We have our availability, whether the collection is turned on or turned off. Um, what type is it? Is it an automated collection or a manual? I'll go into the differences in a moment and if we want to sort them. So the first thing that we're going to do is let's go in and actually look at a collection. Let's look at one that's already been created. Uh, the reason we're doing this is because it might be easier to understand where we're going if you know what the result is going to be. So if we have a look at the collection here, this is a collection that has already been created. We have our title, we have our description, um, and then we have our availability. Uh, availability is similar to product availability, which is where you turn it on, that product will now show, but again with collections. Because they're groupings of products, you can turn on and turn off a collection and it won't show it or, or will show it. Now keep in mind, when you turn off a collection, you are not turning off the product. The product is still gonna be available. You'll still be able to get to the product through your website. So if you're thinking that if I turn off a collection on uh, on Shopify, it will deactivate the product. It won't, it will keep the product live. You have to actually go and deactivate the product in order for it to not be seen on your site. Uh, collection image, this is a image that is, um, outlines your, <laughs> or, or is, is a lifestyle image that shows it. This is used in collection banners. It can be used in a number of places. Shopify gives you the ability to add a single image that you may able to use wherever you want. Now, this has kind of changed. Uh, with sections everywhere, um, there is the ability to add multiple images to collection pages, but we're gonna go over that when we go over themes a little bit later. For now, collection image, this is just a single image that get used on a product if you only need one. The next page down is our product manipulation. So this is where we are going to be adding our products in here. This is where we're gonna be sorting them, how we want it default sorted, um, what products we want to add to this collection. This collection that I am looking at right now is what's called a manual collection, which means you have to actually go and add products to this collection in order for it to show up uh, on the collection. It won't automatically add products to it when you go and add them to your store. Um, but we're gonna go over an automated collection when we set up a new one. We've got the search engine stuff down below. Again, search engine is uh, generated when you go and generate out the title the first time. If you need to change it, you can go in and hit the edit button. You can go and put your meta description, your meta details, again, because a collection to a search engine is essentially a page, um, but you have the ability to change your search engine handles down below. And if you're gonna be changing this, Shopify will give you the option to create a redirect. All right, so that is what we're looking at for a collection that's already been created. But let's go and create a new collection, shall we? So on this, again, when we come into the Shopify uh, dashboard, we have our black bar across the top, which tells us whether or not things have been saved or not. Uh, nothing has been saved yet, so we're gonna get going. So this is gonna be a uh, sample collection. This is gonna be, oops, let's go down here. Sample description. Okay, great our availability that we talked about under products. Uh, we have our collection image, which we can then add, and our default template. Templates, again, there's a special section in this um, course, which I'll go over templates and how those are all used. Now, collection type, we have two different types of collections. We have manual collection types, where you're going to physically add products to the collection, so there's a human being involved. There's the automated type, which is you can go and select conditions on which a collection is generated. So let's say you have a number of products. You're working with thousands of products. You don't want to be adding a single uh, item to a collection unless it's like a specialized collection. Maybe it's a Black Friday sale. Maybe it's a holiday sale, something like that. And you want to create a collection specifically for that. Sure, go in and create a manual collection. But an automated collection is where you should be going most often because it saves you the time of going to manage this later on. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you are using an app to manage your collections, it's gonna probably have to be a manual collection. Um, apps can't modify automated collections. We'll get into that when we talk about apps. Um, now, automated collections allows you to select based on, say, price uh, is greater than, say, $45. Um, and if I hit save, what it will do is it will go and look at all of my products and then it will pull up the products that meet that condition. Now, in my store, um, 
once I've created a, uh, a, a collection, there is some time that Shopify needs to go through all your products, figure out what that collection is and actually build that collection. Uh, as Shopify has gotten bigger, again, coming back to this resource piece, um, we might have to wait for the, um, the price to update. Now, I know that there is a number of products in my store that are more than $45. So we're gonna continue to refresh that page until Shopify has a chance to go and process that stuff. Okay, great. It has now done that. It has now given me all of the products that fit that collection. I can then change the sorts so I can decide whether I want to sort by title, highest priority, or manual sort. Um, and you can go and change the order in which things show up. We've got our search engines down at the bottom. Um, and then on the right hand side, we have the similar things that we've already gone over. Now, if I want to view the collection, I can hit view and it will take me to the view page. <laughs> I think so far the collections has actually been the easiest one we've gone through. I realize beginning of this course, a lot of heavy stuff right up front, but next we're gonna get even easier and we're gonna go over to gift cards. It's a really simple one. You guys are gonna love it.